my friends at Anthem, I would like to sincerely apologize for not being there in person. I was to do your Christmas party today, but um, we're not sure. We've been advised that we may have been a casual contact of somebody uh, who was at a shopping center in Barrel a few days ago. So I got tested yesterday, um, and as at this moment we haven't had a result. I mean, the chances are we're fine, we're, Anne and I are triple jabbed, and um, you know, we should be okay. No, no symptoms or anything like that, but I love you guys so much in there. I would do anything to be there with you, but I would not, under any circumstances, do anything that would put you guys in danger. So um, I hope you're going to enjoy the Christmas carols that I'm going to do for you that I would inevitably have done in there. And to the lovely Jilly, I hope that you'll sing loud and proud in there, Jilly, and get the rest of them going as I sing along to some of the great Christmas carols, okay? So please enjoy the next 45 minutes to an hour, and I wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas, and I look forward to getting back to see you all in 2022. All right, we'll start off with Aussie Jingle Bells. Dashing through the bush in a rusty holding youth, kicking up the dust, esky in the boots, Kelpie by my side, singing Christmas songs. It's summertime and I am in my singlet short and thongs. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells. just to start off with a bit of a laugh. All right, so I hope you're all gonna behave yourselves now, okay? And uh, I hope that Jules and all the staff are, are handing out all the mulled wine to you at this stage, although it's probably, ah oh yeah, the temperature's all right today for it. Here's another big one from back home, and it's also been recorded by um, Lee Kernigan. It's called Driving Home for Christmas. Oh, I can't wait to see those faces 
Christmas. Now let's see, we might do one of the traditional ones now. What do you think? Yeah. Alright. Let's do my, one of my favourites. This is one I had on a CD a few years ago and uh, it's by Robson and Jerome and it's called I Believe. Jilly, I know you have the words up there somewhere. I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. I believe that somewhere in the darkest night, a candle glows. I believe for everyone who goes astray, someone So let's sing along to this one. Do you hear what I hear? Said the night wind to the little lamb. Do you see what I see? Way up in the sky, little lamb Do you see what I see? A star, a star Dancing in the night With a tail as big as a kite With a tail as big as a kite So 
there. And I hope you all enjoyed it. All right. We might follow that up with, um, yes, another one from the hymn sheets there. <laughs> oh, holy night. sheets so no excuses and uh, this one I'm dedicating it to my lovely friend Sissy and uh, she's an old English lady an Aussie like myself now but um, she might remember the odd white Christmas sing along now I expect to be able to hear you all the way up here to Hilltop so no messing down there <laughs> Just like the ones I used to know 
if I'm not mistaken, White Christmas is going to be on the TV within the next week or so. I think I've already set it to record for old times sake. The lovely woman that I'm married to, Anne and I, we've always had a bit of a bit of a heated discussion about that. We wind each other up. Because the film was made in 1954. And uh, it is now known as White Christmas. But I seem to remember that when that came out first, it was called Holiday Inn. And White Christmas was the main song from it. So we have a big wind up about it every day. She says, no, it's White Christmas. It's always been White Christmas and all that sort of thing. But sure, what can you do? Right, he's ready for a nice soppy one now. What about Silent Night? <laughs> jokes here but I can understand where some of the Irish jokes came from because in the old days the pubs closed at 11 o'clock in Ireland and then the lads all made their way up to midnight mass on Christmas Eve and then went home and didn't get up until the dinner was on the table the next day right but at one point it got to where the pubs stayed open later Okay, even though Christmas Day the pubs don't officially open, uh, the old clocks used to stop at 11 o'clock, you know, so they'd roll on. So what did the church do? Okay, Midnight Mass is now at 9 o'clock on Christmas Eve. 
Okay? It's kind of like having the midnight fireworks in Sydney and then they were at 9 o'clock. Now they're 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock. You have to cater to the people, don't you? All right. I hope you're enjoying the little uh, sing-along. I wish that I could be there with you, but uh, as I said, you know, I, I would not take the risk. A couple of cheerios, because, you know, messages come in on these YouTube channels. The reception girls, Jules and Hannah, say hi to Betty and Vera. Okay, we have plenty of messages coming up. Let's see what else we're going to do here. We'll do one from an English fella, and it's called Merry Christmas, Everyone. Snow is falling all around me, children playing, having fun, it's the season, love and understanding, Merry Christmas everyone. Time for parties and celebrations, people dancing all night long, time for presents. And exchanging kisses Time for singing Christmas songs We're gonna have a party tonight I'm gonna find that girl Underneath the mistletoe And kiss by candlelight Roomy swaying The records playing All the old songs We love to hear Oh, I wish that every day was Christmas What a nice way to spend the year Snow is falling all around me, children playing, having fun, it's the season, love and understanding, Merry Christmas everyone, Merry Christmas everyone, Merry Christmas everyone. is falling all around me, children playing, having fun, it's the season, love and understanding, Merry Christmas everyone, snow is falling all around me, children playing, having fun, it's the season, Love and understanding Merry Christmas Everyone Snow is falling All around me Children playing Having fun It's the season Love and understanding Merry Christmas Everyone Merry Christmas Everyone, Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, Merry Christmas, everyone. Now I have more messages sneaking in here. Oh, yes. Chet says hi to Margaret, Jenny, and all on the Ascot ground floor. Sure's like a city in there, isn't it? With your upstairs and downstairs. You ever think of making a TV series out of it? It was called Upstairs Downstairs one time, wasn't it? <laughs> Renee also says hi to Angela, Trudy, and all on the Ascot first floor. 
There you go. More messages to come, all right, so don't panic. Time for a bit of Rudolph. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw him you would even say it glowed all of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names they never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer game Santa came to say Rudolph with your nose so bright Won't you guide my sleigh tonight Then how the reindeers loved him How they shouted out with glee Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer You'll go down in history the snowman. Jilly, you're in charge still. Get them singing. Okay, Sissy, get stuck into it. Come on, Desmond. Marilyn, Fred, Kevin, come on. The snowman was a jolly happy soul with a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the snowman is a fairy they say he was made of snow but the children know how he came to life one day there must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found for when they placed it on his head he began to dance around oh frosty the snowman was alive as he could be and the children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me. Frosty the snowman knew the sun was hot that day. So he said, let's run and we'll have some fun before I melt away. Down to the village with a broomstick in his hand. traffic cop and he only paused a moment when he heard him yell a stop frosty the snowman had to hurry on his way but he waved goodbye saying don't you cry i'll be back again someday i'll be back again someday i'll be back You can't 
beat the old traditionals, can you? Who else am I saying hello to here? Sally says hi to Pam, Bernice, and all in the loft. Oh, I haven't been to the loft. What's the story there, lads? Eh? Is, that, is that a secret place, is it? Yeah? Mm. Very good, very good. We've got you all covered. And um, as I said, I'm happy to know because look at the list of singers. My gosh. I know Jilly's in charge. Desmond. Beautiful voice, I'm sure. So you sing out there. Maureen, you sing along as you always do. And I will sing you an Irish song before the, the uh, show is over. Marilyn. Hope you're keeping well. Fred and Kevin. You just be good, okay? That's great. That's great. All right. Now let's see what we might have here. Oh, here's a beautiful one. I know that all my choir ladies there will want to sing along with this one. It's Silver Bells. <laughs> find a nice one for her. Ah, sure, here it is. The ever, ever favorite and popular. I'll take you home again, Kathleen.
housekeeping with all the rallies in Donegal, I hope are well. All right, who else has texted in here? These are very popular, you know. A lot of people want to say hello to a lot of people. Orin Karina says, Hi to Margit and all in Upper Throsby. Holy moly, I tell you what, you're half the size of Barrow. And also Rachel sends a hug to Carolina and Nikki, Upper Throsby. Well done, well done. I tell you what, I suppose you just have to book out the Midigong RSL for the Christmas party for the staffies, do you? Hey, with all that, all that number of people. Anyway, it is what it is. We'll keep the Christmas theme going. Now, does everybody out there still believe in Santa Claus? If not, why not? All right? Because many years ago, well, I'm, I'm lucky enough with my beautiful wife. I have two children and uh, we have five grandchildren. Anyway, our son, being the younger of the siblings, he uh, was about nine. And, um, you know, Santa came every year and everything was good. And we kind of thought at dinner one night near Chris said, Shade Junior, he's Shade Junior. Shade Junior, um, do you still believe in Santa Claus? And he talked for a minute and he looked up and he said, uh, Will it affect the quality of the present that I get? So I think that was the answer, all right. He wasn't silly. He wanted good stuff and if it meant believing, he believed. <laughs> all right, this one is Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> You better not cry, you better not pout I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town <laughs> He's making a list, he's checking it twice He's gonna find out who's naughty or nice Santa Claus is coming to town He sees you when you're sleeping He knows when you're awake He knows if you've been bad or good So be good Sake. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why, Santa Claus is coming to town. Little tin horns and little toy drums, rooty toot toots and rum and tum tums, Santa Claus is coming to town. Curly head dolls that couldn't let coo, elephant boots and kitty cars too. Santa Claus is coming to town. The kids and girls and boy land will have a jubilee. They're gonna build the toilet all around the Christmas tree. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout. I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you what, Santa Claus is coming to town. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why, Santa Claus is coming, Santa Claus is coming, Santa Claus is coming to town. There you go. Speaking of Santa Claus, in Australia, there weren't a lot of chimneys, okay? Out in the bush. I think I was in the bush before I first discovered a house with a chimney. And I kind of thought, that's a weird thing in this lovely hot country. But anyway, <laughs> we now know. You get used to the climate and suddenly you're cold at 20 degrees. But um, in Ireland, Santa Claus was up the chimney from Halloween till Christmas, okay? And you had to be on your absolute best behavior because what would happen is the mammy would say, now you've been bold, I'm going to tell Santy. 
and she'd go and she'd shout up the chimney and say, Santy, that Shay has been a bad boy. He wasn't doing what he was told, blah, blah, blah. And you'd be going, oh, please, oh, please, I promise to be good, I promise. And there'd be times you'd sneak over to the chimney on your own. you go, Santy, I really am good. Please bring me my gun and holster and my cowboy hat. Okay, remember the good old days, the cap, gun and holster. Oh, I must have got one of them every year for about five years. From when they were metal, and then they went to be plastic. Remember, plastic took over the world. All right. Okay. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the uh, the bit of a show, and uh, we uh, we certainly are there in spirit with you. Now, this one, this is a tester for Jilly, and it's a tester for Maureen, and it's a tester for Marilyn, because. This one, you need to breathe. Take deep breaths, because by the time we get to the end of this, you'll, have, um, you'll be out of breath, okay? It's the 12 days of Christmas. Not the Aussie style, the traditional. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese a laying five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying. see here if you can see that I'm drinking a cup of cappuccino from my 50th anniversary mug which says 50 years of being Mr. Right okay the other mug 
that she who must be obeyed has says 50 years of being Mrs. Always Right. How do you like them apples? Now, you know, I think that um, jewels should be, um, jewels should actually be singing. So hopefully uh, you'll keep an eye on her. And if she's not singing, you can send me a message and say she's not singing or I'm sure she sings beautifully because she's a beautiful lady. All right. We have resident friends in Redford, Joe, Joan, and Margaret. Lovely to see you guys. No, can't quite see that far. But, you know, I've not been into Redford, so um, I hope that you're enjoying this and don't, don't be too hard on me, you know. I'm, I'm an elderly Irish gentleman, and so that's my excuse. And then we have the beautiful lifestyle girls, Jules, Liz, and Sue. Oh my God, I tell you what, I, I have, I, I play at a lot of um, retirement villages and I have a friend who's in a retirement village up in Armadale, so I, I, I visit places on a regular uh, basis and I can tell you now that the warmth that I feel from you guys there in Antrim is superb, so I certainly hope that everybody um, is nice and relaxed there and know that you're being well looked after. All right, now we'll do another trad one. This is O oh, Come All Ye Faithful. stuff going here haven't we today yeah now I wonder if we've won from yesterday 
you know most of us have a seven in the as the first number in our age or, or worse <laughs> but we're enjoying our lives and that's all that matters so i'm taking a trip down memory lane here this one here is from back in the 50s back in the good old days of the famous jim reeves this is moonlight and roses sing along if you can remember the words <laughs> gently as you waltzed her around the room. Ha! <laughs> Mention that to the grandkids and they'll look funny at you, I can tell you. All right, Lisa and Grace, they would like to say hi to Jean, Maureen, Del, Connie, John, Margaret, and all in Lower Throsby. There you go. Well, we've done pretty well, haven't we, here? We've had a few of you sending little messages and all, which is very nice, okay? Now let me see what I might throw in. Actually, I'm going to do this one, and I'm going to dedicate this one. It's on the, the song sheets, if they've been given out to you by the lovely Jules. And um, there's a gentleman named uh, Desmond Noel Kennard. And he is amongst you folks having a nice life. And the reason that his middle name is Noel, he's got a birthday coming up. He'll be having a birthday and on Christmas Day. So as the traditional thing used to be in Ireland, everybody called Noel was born on Christmas Day. Every girl that was born on Christmas Day was called Noel. So either way you were covered. So here you go. The first Noel dedicated to Desmond. <laughs>
might do one of the lively medleys that I normally do from the 60s just to um, keep everybody in the right mood, okay? And uh, if you've been doing your exercises, you won't have to worry about how much of that lovely Christmas dinner you eat, because it'll be all right. So here is the nostalgia medley for all of those who can remember. Desmond has his barrow in the marketplace. Molly is the singer in a band. Desmond says to Molly, girl, I like your face. And Molly says it as she takes him by the hand. Oh, bloody, oh, blada, life goes on. Whoa, ha, 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 my life goes on. Oh, bloody, oh, blada, life goes on. Whoa, ha, 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 my life goes on. In a couple of years, they have built a home, sweet home. Couple of kids running in the yard, Desmond and Molly Jo. Change the song. I'd like to play a game that is so much fun, and it's not so very hard to do. The name of the game is Simple Simon Says. I'd like for you to play this too. Put your hands in the air. Shake them all about. Doing Simon Says. And you will never be out. Simple Simon said, put your hands on your hips, let your back won't slip, Simon says. Yes, Simple Simon said, put your hands on your hips, I'd like for you to play this too. Put your hands in the air, shake them all about, do it double time, and you will never be out. On the mountain, and the night is on the run. And it's a new day, it's a new way, and we fly up to the sun. I can see the morning sunlight, I can smell the newborn hay, and I can hear God's voices calling from my golden skylight way. Cheep, cheep, chirpy, chirpy, cheep, cheep, chirp. Here we go. Where's your mama gone? Where's your mama gone? Little baby dumb. Little baby dumb. Where's your mama gone? Where's your mama gone? Far, far away. Far, far away. New song. Waiting for me when I see 
her, I know that she'll say, Hey, 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 it's a beautiful day. Singing, hi, 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 beautiful Sunday. And this is my, my, my beautiful day. And when you say, 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 say that you love me. Oh, my, 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 it's a beautiful day. Singing, my, 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 here we go, a new song. Hey, hey. You'll be my girl. Hey, hey, baby. Ooh, uh, I wanna know if you'll be my girl. Hey, hey, baby. Ooh, uh, I wanna know. You'll be my girl. Hey, hey, baby. Ooh, uh, I wanna know if you'll be my girl. Oh, I've been Roy Orbison for all the ladies. This is for Jules and all the staff. Great girls all together. Walking down the street, pretty woman, the kind I'd like to meet, pretty woman. You look as lovely as can be, are you lonely just like me? very much for that one. Now we'll finish up very shortly and let's just go and have a bit of a relax. A bit wet to be outside so I suppose if this keeps you amused that's good. There's one that I love to do and because I won't be there with you um, I won't be there with you today and I won't be there until the new year. Um, us Irish people are very we're very sentimental and very romantic in our own way even though we don't seem like that. But one thing we, we are is we're philosophical, is that what they call it? We, we love to think about people who we've lost, people we can't be with at this time of the year. So rather than feeling sad about it, we, we almost sing to make ourselves feel better about it. So this song is for everybody who can't be with their loved ones because of this COVID lockdown can't be with their loved ones for whatever reasons um, whether it be that they've passed and gone on to their great uh, reward um, but it is simply called absent friends please sing along and uh, don't feel bad with it feel good with it let it bring their thoughts back into your heart <laughs>
for every road must end. You'll always be there in our hearts, our special absent friend. As we go down the road of life, sometimes we race too fast, and as we chase the future bright. We can't forget the past, so let's let us cherish memories we hold inside our hearts, where those we love will always live, and never to depart. Let's raise our hands to absent friends. For every road must end, you'll always be there in our hearts, our special absent friend. good that you might remember them, the great memories they gave us and all that. Right, well I'm going to finish up with the traditional one that would be done on, on New Year's Eve, but as soon as how I won't see you, I will see you on the 7th of January, okay? Put it in your little diaries. I'll be in there to annoy you all on the 7th of January. So if you haven't ate all the sweets from Christmas, save me up a few. We'll have a little party, okay? So here is the traditional old Lang Syne or Owl Lang Syne as we call it at home and in Scotland as well or written by Robbie Burns Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old
let's say goodbye to 2021 and good riddance to 2021. So until next time, on the 7th of January, I look forward to being with you all again. And uh, thank you for your beautiful um, hospitality over the past year. And I look forward to repeating it all in 22. Please, God bless everybody. Stay safe for Christmas.